with the composition, you want to try to you want to try to lay your main subjects uh, down on the rules of third, on you know, around these areas. Okay, you want to try to um, and and you got and you you pretty much you pretty much got that like your main character is setting right on one of the points. Okay, so that's good. All right. <clears throat> And then you have your other character, the uh, pumpkin creature, right over here, okay? Also sitting on the third. So that's good. You have a good balance. Plus you have a different size in your character. Uh, you have a different size um, different, uh, difference between the two. So that balances them out, okay? Um, and you can, you know you can develop a story from this you know you can see something happening um but it's just kind of blurred like the whole scene is blurred uh which i'll get into that but uh yeah so you got the rules of thirds going um and uh sort of like the, the golden ratio too um <clears throat> Then you have um, then you have a good um, like uh, layout right here um, for the foundation. You know we can tell where she's setting uh, with the uh, horizon. Now it probably could be um, it probably could be like a little more dynamic. Um, also depending on what you're going for. Um, because right now it just seems like she's just, you know, she's just standing there looking at this thing and he's standing there and they're like, you know, Hey, what's up? How you doing? So this is supposed to be like, you know, it's supposed to give off like, you know, like the things after her. Um, what I would suggest is, um, to first of all, you gotta figure out what your uh, what your main focus is. Okay, is it her? Is it him? Right now, I'm feeling he's the main focus because he has more saturation and he has more contrast. So everything is drawn to him, um, except for this part right here. You know, um, for her, I'm not really, you know, I'm not really feeling like a you know, like I'm being drawn to her. I'm feeling more like I'm being drawn to over in this area. And this area is kind of um, conflicting with that, the uh, ground right here. <clears throat> but if this is your main character, if this is your main character, um, then this is going to be your secondary or vice versa. Okay. So you want to put your emphasis on her. I feel that this is your main character right here, her. So you want to, yeah, you want to put your focal and your emphasis on her because that's what, you know, that's what's telling the story. <clears throat> and he's playing the villain, the second role or whatever, you know. All right. So first of all, uh, what I want to do is I want to I want to do like a I want to do a paint over here, all right? Because uh, I feel it's a uh, I feel it's a little bit too too blurry. Um, I understand what you're going for here, but um, like I said, you need some kind of you know focal. So first of all, what I want to do is let's copy this down. <clears throat> And um, I want to, I want to, I want to decrease the brightness of this thing because it's a little bit uh, too bright, I think. <clears throat> um, you don't want the if you hit, okay. Here's the thing: if you have if you have a character. If you have a character, um, if you have a scene of a character doing something, okay, um, you want to try to capture that character um, as best as you can. You don't want the scene to overwhelm it. 
the scene is meant to, um, unless you have like a landscape and your focus is on the landscape, you know, then you use things to, you know, draw you into the, you know, to the scenery, the land and everything. All right, let's turn that off. Okay, so we're talking about uh, making her like, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do like a basic um, diagram over the whole scene. Um, kind of like a thumbnail, okay? We want to make her the main part, all right? That's our main character. We want the people that's viewing this to feel the character, feel what's going on. We don't want it stagnant. We want it to, uh, we want it to have some kind of looseness to it, all right? Like, like she's frightened of this thing, right? She's scared of it. She's terrified. She wants, <clears throat> she, she doesn't want to stay there with it, you know, because this thing is, you know, it's haunting her. It's haunting her, okay? So let's have some movement to it, all right? So let's, uh, let's have her, like, you know, trying to, you know, trying to get away from this thing, you know? She's not, you know, let's have her dress flowing or something. You know? Something like that. Okay. Her hair is flowing that way, you know. She's she's either startled or, you know, she just don't know what to do. You know, she's she's frightened. <clears throat> Alright. And then let's have this. Let's have uh let's actually have um instead of this uh instead of like this straight line, let's have it like kind of motion. You know, let's have it a little bit more swirly. Since this is supposed to be like some kind of like spe spectral realm or something. I don't know what it is, but um, it looks kind of like a like a nightmare. <clears throat> well, let's uh, let's use that. You know, let's use that nightmare. Let's make this thing like you know. Let's make them scary. Let's make them ferocious. Let's make them like hovering over her. He's like, you know, he's huge, man. He's like hovering over her, you know. Let's uh, let's have some things like, you know, kind of framing off the scene, like framing off the character, you know, like like he's got her basically in his grasp. All right. <clears throat> Yeah, like a nightmare environment. Maybe give them some, like, I don't know, some teeth or something. <clears throat> All right. So that's so that's the general, that's just the general layout right there, okay? We're just trying to move, you know, towards the character. We're trying to put our focus right here on the character. This guy comes second because, um, you know, like, he's the antagonist, all right? If this was a movie, then your focus would want to be on who's portraying the main part, which would be her. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do a paint over. All right. <clears throat> okay. So what I want to do, first of all, let's just, um, let me do this right here. All right, I'm just going to do some, like, really loose, loose sketching real quick. really loose just like <clears throat> just a doodle
Yeah, she's looking up at this thing. He's looking at her. All right. Maybe she's got her hand up like this. Also, um, also using like um, implied lines, like right here with her hand. That's kind of pointing to him. Um, plus, he all right, he's looking back at her. So this is like keeping your interest in this area, okay? So we got <clears throat> so we got something like that. Oops. So that's just like a quick, loose sketch.
first off, man, dude, that contrast is, uh, is, is big. It's huge. Um, you might want to tone down on the contrast uh, because it's kind of it's kind of like kind of bleaching everything out um, or blowing everything out. Um, is this is this the image from uh, the last time that you showed me? Is this the uh, the nightmare one? The uh, the girl uh, with the pumpkin with the huge pumpkin monster. Can you guys hear me? Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Okay. So. Okay. So I talk. So, okay. So we pretty much. Uh, so since this is like the same image. Pretty much. Okay. The remade version. Um, Alright. Alright. So let's, let's start. Um, let's go ahead and start with the emphasis first. Okay. Um, it's. It's kind of hard to determine what the emphasis is on here, um, because there's so much uh, there's so much contrast, there's so much uh, light going on. Um, honestly, man, I would really tone down this area right here. Yeah, let me see. I'm gonna have to uh, fade it out a little bit. Um, like I would really, really tone this down a lot, because <clears throat> um, this this part right here. Okay, Holmes, thank you. Um, this part right here is just um, it's it's just way too bright, man. Um, you don't want that much. Uh, you don't want that much. Uh, stuff being blown out or you know contrasty or whatever because actually it's it's hard to even see her um right now because of this my eye is so drawn to this now if you wanted to use the white to complement her and we're touching on uh emphasis um if you wanted to use the white to complement her, let's see. Let's go ahead and um, let's copy this. All right, now I'm just gonna do like a paint over. <clears throat> I gotta kind of move fast. All right, so let's uh let's go ahead and uh, let's knock this down a lot let's knock that part down a lot okay see how just that little bit is bringing more focus to her So now there's more, there's more, like you can see her now. So like before, I couldn't really, I couldn't really see her. I mean, I could, I could see her to a point, but because, um, my eye was so drawn to this right here, I just, you know, she, she was like second and then he was third. Yeah, she was, yeah, she was lost. And like, I saw him. But because because this was popping so much, um, that's where my eye was instantly drawn. So it's kind of taken away from both of these characters, actually. <clears throat> All right. So since we toned that down, that puts more emphasis on her and this guy. Okay. Now you got to you need to determine which one you want to. Uh, have more focus between these two okay because you want one main focus you want either her to be the focus or you want him to be the focus if he's the antagonist she's like you know the protagonist the hero or the uh, victim or whatever then of course you want your focus on her all right 
<clears throat> so let's uh I'm not gonna be able to get around into um I'm probably not gonna be able be able to get around into like all the compositional elements. Um really I just wanna work on the um like just making this image pop more um, to help you to make it pop more okay um, so in order to make it pop more um, you're gonna have to have contrast uh, between her and whatever's going on around here I think it I, I, I take it that this is like a hand um, this is like a hand that's grabbing her that's coming around and grabbing her She's using some kind of power against it, against the monster, right? <clears throat> okay. All right. The uh, the hand is kind of contrasting with her too much. Um, you want to break up the, or uh, not contrasting, it's mixing in with her. Like it's almost like she's part of the hand. You want to try to break that up somewhat. Even if you have to um, change the color of her dress, you know, right there instantly pops her out more. Okay. Just changing the color of her, her dress pops her out a lot more. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so it's not so blended in. What you want is, and I'll cover this in the in the in the class too. But what you want is you want separation. You want things to be separated from. You want objects, people, whatever the case may be. You want it to be separated from one another. You want to have. You want to go from light to dark, uh, to light to dark to light to dark. Like right here, you have light going up against um, more of a. A, like a dark okay um, her face you got you got good contrast right here between her hair and her in her actual face all right and that's what you want you want that you want that contrast yeah the definition um, and other things that can help you with that is um, like I mentioned earlier is uh, patterns um, uh, rhythm um, you know different colors uh, values <clears throat> um, and uh, I think the arm I think this thing the arm or the hand is actually I, honestly I think it's taken away from the character it's just covering her up way too much in my opinion um, to where you, it almost seems like she's suffocated. Um, I mean, I know he's like, he's after her, but there's other ways to, um, there, there is other ways you can approach that. Um, <clears throat> uh, plus, Okay, I see that you blurred the background out a lot more, which is good. Um, but you don't want any like you don't want any crisp uh, like edges because that draws my attention too. Um, is right here, that area right there. That really draws my attention as well. It's almost like a, another element another it's almost like another character that sh shouldn't be there okay <clears throat> yeah you could do that um yeah this the hand just ain't working for me uh i mean yeah it's leading the eye and everything but um it's just i don't know it's 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 like it's suffocating the main character, um, in my opinion. Um, 
you got you got it good going on as far as the um, the uh, okay like say like the uh, the rules of third the golden ratio right um, let's go and pull that in um, you are it is leading the eye it is leading the viewers eye. So yeah, I mean you got her right. See, I, I'm, I see that you're using that, which is good. That's really good. Um, I don't know if that was on purpose or that was on accident, but it's good if you if you are, you know, using that to your advantage. You know, because that's a good tool to use. Um, and I see you got it right on her, so I'm assuming that you're you're purposely using it. Okay, another thing is, she's looking, yeah, I figured, um, but that's good, man, that's good, at least, at least you're, you're trying it out, you know, and, uh, you know, you're trying to, trying to, uh, work with it, yep, and you got him on this spot, which is good, you could probably move him over a little bit more, so he's not so much in the center, but, I mean, that's good, that's good placement, um, it's really good, really good placement for her. Okay. Plus, you got the, you do have the, um, the movement, which is good. Um, I just, I just think that um, the, the arm or the hand is too dominant um, in comparison with the main character. Um, I think you could back off the hand a little bit. <clears throat> You can still have the hand, but just not so um, dominant in comparison to the character. She wants to, you want her to be your main um, focus. And then this guy, you want him to be your second focus. Okay. Let's go ahead and get rid of that up there. If you want to have, like, uh, say, landscape, like behind, um, you could easily draw a landscape, but it don't have to be, it don't have to be real harsh, you know. You can, you can paint some landscape back there or whatever. I figure that's what you were trying to do. But, you know, as long as you don't, the thing is, as long as you don't, um, detract it from the main focal, as long as nothing in the scene takes your attention from the main focus, that's what that's what you want to that's what you 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 want to concentrate on. Because once once your uh, attention is taken from the main um, the main focus. All right, Amos. Um, <clears throat> Yeah, I see that. I see the horizon. Um, the thing is, is that a lot of this is it's really mixed up. It's it's really mixed in um, together. Um, you got some areas that are popping more than others, but um, like say for instance the uh, the arm and the hand and her, you know, it just it shouldn't be mixed like that I mean I understand like I understand what you were going for I understand what because like of course she's got this flaming hand you know around her so naturally she's probably going to be the color of the hand which yeah she will be she will have some of this um, uh, radiating off of the hand onto her but it's not going to be so intense you want to have something to break her up from the hand. Use another, use another color. Use a cooler color because cool works great against warm. This is your warm color, all right. This is your cool color. Blues, greens, purples. Um, <clears throat> so use that to complement this. Use this blue to complement this. So, and all complement means is it's contrasting. It's breaking up the two colors. So it's complementing. 
so that they, they don't get muddy and they don't um, they don't like you know combine together they don't mix okay <clears throat> um, your uh, your little pentagram um, magic happening right here um, you could you could do this but you want to um, because okay, to me it, it feels like it's some kind of like uh, like shield or whatever. Um, you want to try to like okay. You can make it bright, but you don't want to make it overwhelmingly bright. Okay, is what I'm trying to explain. Okay, so you got your pentagram here. Okay. Because once you make it way too bright, it's going to take away from the, the main character. Okay. So even if you do something like that, you just don't want to like, you, you know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't want to just, you know, boom, you know, just blow it out like that. Okay. Because that's just too much. Now, if you want to add a little bit of brightness, like, uh, resonating off of it, uh, coming off of it, then, um, you know, just barely, you know, throw some softness in there. Throw a little bit of softness, you know. And yeah, it's still a little bright, but it's not overwhelmingly bright. You see what I'm saying? And then even if you want to put more focus on the character, take some of this blue and throw it on her. Because naturally the light's gonna, it's gonna bounce back onto her, right? Yeah, put some blue on her hand. Actually, that's where you want the bright to be, is around her face and her hands. Okay. But yeah, you just you can just bounce back the light onto her. You know, and that makes her pop more. See what I'm saying? <clears throat> see, you can even, you could pull this back and you can still see it pop. And what the star does is it really, it, it kind of like, um, it's almost like an implied line too. Because you got it also, you got it pointing up to him. You got her looking at him. He's looking at her. The star is, you know, it's it's got these angles that's drawing your attention into this area. Okay? Remember, angles are powerful. Okay? They're, you know, um, they're a great way to, to draw attention. Okay? So, even this part. Um... Even this part, the, uh, man, why is my thing, all right, okay, there we go, all right, even this part, yeah, I gotta, I gotta draw blue, is bringing your eyes to her, whatever you can do to bring the eyes to the main character, that's what you want to do, and then he's second. So you want to have a main focus, a secondary focus, and then if you have a third focus, um, you know, like back here or something, you just don't want to confuse the audience. You don't want to, you don't want to, um, another thing you don't want to do is you don't want to add too much. Okay. All right. So that's that. Um, I got to get moving on to the class. Um, are you good? Do you have any questions? Anybody have any questions? Angels are powerful. I'm not sure what that means, but it sounds cool. <clears throat> All right, man. Um, if you want, um, if you want, 
in my spare time, like um, we like we mentioned, um, I was going to start doing these uh, evening whiffs um, to just basically mess around, do whatever, try different things. If you want, um, I can actually um, I can mess around with um, oh angles. Okay, I don't know why I read angels. Um, yeah, angles are powerful. Yes, uh, uh, but. Yeah, if you wanna if you wanna drop it in um in one of my streams, then I'll be more than happy to help you out further, man. Um maybe I can do like a sketch of my own and show you how I would approach it. And then like you could just, you know, you could, you know, take, you know, whatever whatever you learn from it. <clears throat> See so, yeah, I mean if you wanna do that, I'm more than happy to help you. But uh, I gotta get moving on with the class, guys. So this was uh, this was the uh, Wednesday night critique. Uh, thank you, everybody. Yeah, not a problem. All right.